Well, on. I'd like to welcome everybody here today. This is a special day, obviously, for our state and for you guys and gals. So I have a proclamation to, uh, to read to you that uh, reflects the governor's uh, strong support of what you do. Whereas West Virginia has 24 airports in the national plan of, integrated air, of the integrated airport system, seven commercial and 17 general aviation airports, and whereas affordable, reliable, and safe air service is integral to our communities, citizens, businesses, and the state, and whereas commercial airports serve our state's 1.8 million citizens and residents and hundreds of thousands of visitors annually, and whereas general aviation airports open our state's rural landscape to countless companies to conduct business around our community business hubs, and whereas airports have played and will continue to play a critical role in the state's response to natural disasters, medical emergencies, and search and rescue operations, whereas growth in air service in West Virginia equates to increased funding for improvements for West, to West Virginia airports, and whereas West Virginia aviation and aerospace education programs inspire and prepare the next generation of skilled professionals for aviation and, aerospace, and the aerospace industry, and whereas West Virginia's aerospace and aviation engineering and manufacturing companies continue to stimulate the economy's growth in our state and opportunity throughout West Virginia, and whereas the third annual West Virginia Aviation Day, which is today, is hosted by the West Virginia Aeronautics Commission and the West Virginia Airport Managers Association. Now, therefore, be resolved that I, Jim Justice, the governor of the great state of West Virginia, do hereby declare January 16, 2020, as West Virginia Aviation Day in the Mountain State and encourage all citizens to join me in the, in the observance. And then he has signed the proclamation. And before I give it, I have Sean to come up. I would like to say that since I've been involved with the administration, I think it's become apparent that this governor has tried to give a lot of support uh, morally and financially and, and be visionary as people have brought him ideas from the several airports around the state to do things. And that commitment remains. He certainly does view, as you've heard me, heard him say publicly more than once, that air service is absolutely critical to development. And so, you know, uh, his commitment remains strong and he'll continue to work uh, as uh, he's presented with good ideas and things to do as resources will permit to try to make this a great place for, for your, your industry, for aviation and so forth. So at this time, just officially for the picture, I'll give this to Sean and thank you very much for all that you do. We hope you have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.